Okay, hi and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I want to present myself is Muhammad Irfan Nabi bin Sahi, and my partner is Muhammad Ali Shafiq bin Zaidi. Okay, our topic is public readiness to work with person with mental disorder (PMD). Okay, let's enjoy. Okay, uh, firstly, uh, we go through on research background. Okay. Uh, our firstly research background is about mental health refers to the cognitive, behavioral, emotional health that persists their thoughts, feelings and behaviors. Uh, sometimes the word they use in the terms is mental health as use a mental disorder. So I would like to include that the uh, mental health is include to enjoy life such as Achieving a balance between mental flexibility and life activities. Okay, the third is a signs or symptoms of mental disorder that include feeling sad or depressed, being unable to cope with daily problems or stress, maybe and extreme emotional changes. The the next is the biggest challenge that facing public traders with mental disorder PMD when they participate in social activities and sometimes their behavior or reaction are considered socially unacceptable such as frustration um, or anger and lastly social discrimination has great influence that affect daily activities uh, and daily functioning of PMD. Okay, uh, the next is a problem statement. Okay, the first problem statement of our group is this, the Disability Act or DDA that defines a person with a disability as a person who is physically or mentally handicapped and has a significant and a long-term adverse effect on their normal daily activities. Okay, it's according on Disabled World 2019. Okay, I'll move to the second second part is according to the National Health and Mor Morbidity Survey NHMS in 2015 that estimated that 29.2% of adult Malaysian adults among 16 to 65 years old suffer mental health problem compared to 10.6% in 1996. This means that one of three, three out of 10 Malaysian adults, about 9.6 million, may have mental health problems. At least 2 million adults have serious mental illness. And this this happened on young people among age 16 to 18 years old are most affected by mental health problems. Okay. Uh, thirdly, is according to the percentage by the Ministry of Rural and Regional Development, uh, the highest employment rate on OKU person is 1.8%. Followed by the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development at 1.75%. So the Ministry among both government goals is too high among 12,811 disabled OKU employees. But in 2018, only 3,782 OKU employees have been registered in this work field according to Landau 2018. Okay, lastly, most people, especially the PMD, refuse to work with them because they have diagnosed with mental health condition. So they involving on workplace discrimination that resulted on stigma. So PMD the Feeling or thought, the PMD generally considered violence dangerous and unpredictable.
Okay, uh, we move on the research objective and research questions. Okay, our group has a, a three research objective and three research questions. Okay, the first research objective uh, is to identify the pattern of public readiness to work with PMD. And the secondly is to determine the relationship between knowledge and the public readiness to work with PMD. And the thirdly, to examine the relationship between the past experience and public readiness to work with PMD. Okay, uh, let's go on to the research questions. We have three research questions. Firstly, is what is the pattern of public readiness to work with PMD? The second is, is there any relationship between knowledge and public readiness to work with PMD? And thirdly, is there any relationship between the past experience and the public readiness to work with PMD? Okay, let's move on a uh, conceptual framework of CF. Okay, our group have uh, two independent variables, IV and one IV. Uh, our independent variable or IV is two, which means knowledge and past experience. Okay. And our dependent variables is public readiness to work with PMD. Okay. Uh, let's move on the independent variables and hypothesis. Okay. Our, as I talked uh, previously, the independent variables, our group is to knowledge and past experience. And the hypothesis is about on the knowledge is H2O, there is no relationship between public server readiness to work with PMD and knowledge. H1, there is relationship between public server readiness to work with PMD and knowledge. Okay. Move to the past experience. We have a two hypotheses. HO, there is no relationship between public server readiness to work with PMDs and past experience. H1, there is relationship between public server readiness and past experience. Okay, let's move on to the research method. Uh, our research design for our group is use quantitative methods. Okay, we use on a cross-sectional met methods that to examine the relationship between a variable and other interesting variable that occur at specific points in time in a period in the defined population. So let's go on to the unit of analysis we use to we use to study on the individual employees in organization. Okay, the third is on sample size. We have studied the population, the total population in various government agency in Seremban, uh, which is on the population is three thousand six hundred public servants. So the the our sample size is proposed to by Kranji and Morgan is 355 respondents. Okay. Moving to the number four is sample technique. Our group is used cluster sampling, is probability sampling, under probability sampling. Okay. On number five is data measurement. We use uh, independent variable is Poisson correlation. Dependent variables, we use descriptive analysis uh, on frequency. Okay, let's go to the number six in data question. We have four section: section A, B, C, and D. On section A, we use demographic profile. Section B on readiness to work with PMD. Section C, knowledge and readiness to work with PMD. And lastly, section D is past experience and readiness to work with PMD. And the last list and on data analysis number seven is descriptive analysis basically on frequency and percentage and we use on present correlation. And then from here we'll proceed to our main finding. Okay. And so for our main finding we'll proceed to first the based on demographic data that we had uh, obtained from our research. And then first based on gender uh our respondent based on gender is for male 
they are number around 37 and then for the female their number is 39 and as for age uh, the most number is from the range of 18 to 24 which is number to 70 and the least number is from around the age range of 53 to 58 years old which amount to 3% moving on we proceed to the working level which the most respondent work on lower level management which number on 60 and the lowest num respondent is on top level management number 8 and then based on marital status the respondent had the maximum number of 77 in single category and then divorce with 3% okay and then moving on the pattern the person which find to be friend with PMD said yes which number 57 and the least respondent said no which amounted 10 and then the last pattern is employing PMD as worker okay for this the number that the least number said yes is 25 and the most number said maybe number 46 moving on we proceed to hypothesis testing in which will be related with research objective okay as for the first objective which is to determine the pattern of public readiness to work with PMD okay for this we will use a uh, descriptive ana analysis and the results which is uh, explained by demographic data that we had compiled before and for the hypothesis is not available since this is not our main point okay and then moving on we proceed to the our second objective which is to determine the relationship between knowledge and, and readiness to work with PMD as for this we use question correlation analysis and the result is uh, the R uh, amounted to 0 0.486 if we round off to the nearest 0 0.1 will amount to 0 0.5 in which we can say that knowledge has positive moderate relation with public readiness to work with PMD and, and thus the hypothesis, uh, the alternative hypothesis was accepted and the null hypothesis was rejected. Moving on, we proceed to our third objective, which is to determine the relationship between past experience and readiness to work with PMD. Okay, this for this also we we use Pearson correlation analysis and then the result, as expected, the R amounted to zero point five one two and the p amounted to zero okay from this we can conclude that the, the same moderate positive relationship between past experience and readiness to work with pmd and thus null hypothesis was rejected and the alternative hypothesis was accepted so our recommendation in which the first one is to help more campaign of awareness about mental health issues and reducing the stigma in which by increasing the uh, by increasing the campaign on the awareness we can increase the uh, interaction between the public and also the PMD and then our second recommendation is by formally formally form policy formulation and execution at organization level in which at this one the organization plays a vital role to help the public to mingle with PMD so that they have better understanding about PMD and then last recommendation from us is addressing inequality that govern PMD at systemic level in which this one required the intervention by the government in which they need to interfere in terms of uh, their, govern, their government system to, to help the PMD cope with their surrounding and then we proceed on to the limitation of the study in which the first one is limited response okay since currently our country are facing uh, COVID-19 outbreak 
and so it is quite hard for us to obtain uh, the accepted uh, response in which we need to gain the data using Google Form. As we know, using, by using Google Form, most of the time people will often ignore it. Okay, and then second limitation is focusing on all level employment in which we focus on all level employment, but then uh, it is related with our first limitation in which uh, limited response. Most of the time, the top level management will often ignore this kind of uh, study in which they, they think they had other com commitment they need to attend to. And then, the last limitation is lack of variable. Basically, we lack a variable due to our own mistake a bit, but then uh, we also lack the time to, to conduct proper study. And the purpose of this study is to study the relationship between the readiness to work with PMD and with knowledge and also past experience as well as the willingness of the public, public to cooperate with patients with mental disorder. This study should also recognize other researchers because there is lack of research on the preparation of employees in quantitative research. So it is possible to research the preparation of civil, not civil, the public in other ways. Basically, most of mental health study, they are conducted by qualitative analysis. But since we focus on quantitative analysis, so yeah, the restraint is there. And then there is significant co positive correlation between the dependent variable in which the willingness of the public readiness to work with patients with mental disorder and the independent variables which are the knowledge and also the past experiences. Okay. In particular, the study provides evidence that all independent variables such as knowledge and past experience are positively related to whether the public are ready to work with person with mental disorder with knowledge and past experience. Therefore, as, research, as researchers find that the research on the above methods is limited, there is an urgent need of in-depth research on the methodology. That's all from us. Thank you.